up, up, and that will happen over and over and over again. That's the debate we're having in America today. Because they changed the rules. Kevin, how does this affect the small banks? Because we were told this morning that Bank of America was raking in $15 billion because so many panicked customers at small banks pulled their money out and went to some of the bigger banks. Let me ask a very difficult question that we're going to have to face very shortly. Does America need regional banks anymore in an Internet age when all the banking is done online? The only thing you care about is the stability of your accounts and do they operate successfully and are you able to transfer money and do payroll? The truth is, and this is tough love, I'm sorry, we don't need regional banks. We're going to move to a model that other countries have done very successfully, like Canada, like Australia, where you have four or five or six banks that are behemoths, highly regulated, still public, you can buy the stocks in them, but they work successfully. The most successful country in 08 was the Canadian banking system. There's no regional banks in Canada. There's just giant behemoths. We don't need regional banks in, in America either. This is really, I, look, I'm sorry. Don't shoot the messenger. This is a fact we have to debate. And we're not going to have regional banks, even if you guarantee the accounts, because right. people don't want to take the 1% chance if something goes wrong. Yeah,